Hey everyone, thanks for coming back and watching this video. Um, I apologize beforehand if I sound like I'm not talking with my mouth open all the way. I just got my wisdom teeth taken out uh, this last Thursday, so I still look like a chipmunk, but really wanted to come on and film this because I, as you can see, have a new planner. Um, I actually switched from a personal size to an A5, and a big reason for that is because of my new job. Um, I felt like I could not keep everything in my personal binder without it um, breaking the rings or I was looking for more room on my calendars and since I needed to have two separate calendars in there, one for personal and one for work, it just wasn't working. So I actually switched to this um, planner here. This is the Daytimer Family Plus. I don't have the Family Plus inserts but um, this is the binder and I got it for like $20 at Walmart. I didn't want to spend too much on an A5 planner just in case I didn't like it. But um, I definitely feel like A5 is the size for me, so I might invest in a Filofax um, down the road. So as you guys can tell, um, it's just plain black. It's not real leather or anything. And then the strap here, I embellished with a little bit of um, gems that I found at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I forget. So just a little bit on the strap there, because I felt like it was a little too plain for me. And then when you open it up, uh, this is what it looks like. On the left hand side there I have some of the masking stickers that I got recently. Um, along with that I have a true love little picture here that I have a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. And then in these pockets um, I have the Martha Stewart little envelope seals. I've used those um, quite a, a bit throughout my planner. And then this is just a folder that I cut down to size to put any um, checks or things I need to look at or just important papers that I don't want to put in my planner um, so it looks cute and it matches. And like I said, these are just the masking stickers. Um, I love these. I just got these recently and I've been playing with them a whole lot. But um, I think this is the pastel set. Comes with a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I really, really like these. If you guys don't use these and you're into planners, um, I really, really recommend it. The I use my Sharpie pen on them and it works perfectly. So let's put all that to the side. Now when you open up, the first thing you see here is I have a little fly leaf. And um, actually when I ordered those masking stickers, this cute little bird sticker came with it. Don't mind my nails either, you guys. But anyway, I had to say that. Um, but this cute little bird um, sticker came with the masking stickers and I thought it was so cute. I just put it up there. And then here are, um, here's just my dashboard. I don't like to have anything on it since it is a work planner. I like to keep it pretty simple and minimalistic. But I have just a perfect day. This is from a um, Project Life scrapbook card that I pasted on this um, piece of cardstock that I had. And then the next section I have here is a card holder. And here I keep all my flags. Here's the post-it flags. Here's some flags from the dollar spot. Um, behind this little card right here I have my business cards and then behind this card right here I have some washi tape. I just like to keep those there because of the look of it. I think it looks really nice. And um, yeah, I didn't want to have everyone look at my business cards so I decided to put that there but I think I like it and I'm going to keep it. Um, well there you can see my business cards over there. <laughs> um, here I have this side opening envelope. This is a place where I just keep some market dots, some stickers, I have some envelopes in here, some stamps, um, some post-it notes, just odds and ends, some paper clips that I don't want floating around the binder. But I do like to keep with me on a regular basis, so that's where I keep those. And until my planner gets too stuffed, I think I'm going to keep this in here. It's really handy. Um, here are some printables that I found out. This is from the uh, Clementine, Clementine Creative. Um, blogspot.com. These are just cute little goals. They were um, my goals for each month, but I actually just crossed out or put a little piece of um, masking tape over it and put for 2014. Then I have one more. So I like to keep those. Um, here I got some cute little pieces of paper from the Target dollar spot that I just hole punched and put them in. Um, and my first section here is just my brain dump. So here I would write down anything that I would need. Um, my first section is my personal section, and here I keep um, the personal random things like contact info, emergency info. I have my um, medical records in here, and then I have some finance things. So I'm not going to open it up too much because I don't want you guys to see where I live or anything like that, but that's what's in here. 
Um, my next divider here, and by the way, I made these all out of uh, cardstock. I got them from a book a while ago. They actually aren't double-sided, which I do not like, but um, I really wanted to kind of have a muted neutral theme to this planner just because I don't want it to be too loud since I do use it for work. And I feel like it goes really nice with the black, so... I have a Project Life journaling card here that just says, don't count the days, make the days count. And in here, um, this is supposed to be stuck to this side here, but it seems to be falling off on me. Um, these are just my lists and some notes that I like to keep. So um, here are just some more of those um, sheets of paper from the Target dollar spot that I really, really love. thought it was a nice little burst of color and I put them in there. And then what came with the um, Family Plus Planner was this uh, shopping list sheet. I got like four of them, but they're really nice because they're perforated. So you can just write your shopping list down and then tear off each of the squares whenever you want to take them into the grocery store and you're good to go. So that's why I like those. Um, I have some lists, some f or 15 qualities of effective communication, some books to read, um, just some, some notes on things that I could use when I, or things that I could eat when I got my wisdom teeth out. And then I found these um, little printouts for a clean house at DIY Ship, or DIY H Ship, DIY H S H P, <laughs> at blogspot.com. So um, if you want to go check those out, they're super cute. It just has like a morning, evening, weekly, monthly thing, and they're really colorful and pretty. And then here they they break them up by the day, by the quarter, by the year, by the month. So I um, haven't really used those yet, but I feel like after I heal from my wisdom teeth, I'll be able to concentrate more. And then here's a really cool books to read list. Here's a master to do list. And then I just put some sheets of colorful paper in here. I think I have like three or four of these in here. And then just pieces of regular paper. Um, my next section here is my work section. I'm not going to show you guys too much in here just because I do work for the city I live in. So um, the first or this divider here I made again with just my um, cardstock that I had and I have a little journaling card today as a gift. And then when you open it here, I do have um, a bit of things that I have on this little black dashboard here that I just like to keep little to do my uh, checklist and some flags in case I want to just write something down really quick. Um, I'm not going to show you that. And then these are just notes. I have a voicemail and call note section, and then I have a note section. So I like to have two separate sections. I used to keep a little book by my phone where I would write down all my call notes and my voicemails that I would get throughout the day, and I would uh, keep track of them that way. I feel like that's what's most um, effective for me, but now I just keep everything in here since this is a bigger book. And then the next section I have is just my note section, so when I go to meetings and things like that. Um, this little divider here is simply a piece of cardboard that came on a um, piece of paper or a paper pack that I purchased. And instead of just throwing it away, I thought that I would use this to divide up my notes and to-do section of my work part of my planner to my calendar. So this is still the work section, but this little piece right here divides up the notes to my calendar. So this is just a little card that says shine, and um, this is it takes you to the month. And this is a pretty minimalistic um, calendar week on, or month on two pages. I just decorate them, some of with the little masking stickers that I purchased. Um, I put a little flag up by the month. Um, and I am very easily able to just flip. I like to um, paper clip all my past weeks together and go to the current week. So as you guys can see, this is the current week, or the week coming up, today's Sunday. So the next week, what I have going on. But as you can see... Um, I do use this quite a lot during the week. So here's what my week looks like last week. I was out most of this week because of my wisdom teeth, um, the time before that. But um, I had just gotten this planner, I believe, yeah. I got gotten the planner on the 12th, so I really got its full use out of it these last couple of weeks. And I feel like this week is going to be pretty hectic since I'm finally going back to work. So here are just, I like to keep a list of to-dos for the week on this side. And then um, right here I have this little page marker that I got out of, I believe, the Flavia inserts because I purchased those for 2015, so I just took the bookmark out of there. And then I keep some little flags and um, all over sticky notes just in case. And I do keep through um, the next March in here because I do like to plan pretty much very far ahead of schedule for my job. So um, I just have those in here. 
And that's pretty much it for my work section. And that's what really gets utilized the most, most throughout the day. Um, I like to keep all of my passwords in there, all of my important notes, all my login information, all of my meeting minutes, and things like that. So I do like to open that up um, and have that open at my desk at all times. The next section is my personal planning section. Um, so I have my personal section, my list and notes, my work section, section which we just went through, and then here is my um, personal planning section. And I've been meaning to print out a 2015 version of this, but these are just the fold-out calendars from um, Filofaxi that I printed out. And as you can see, I've decorated some birthdays and my sister's getting married, so I put some little masking stickers on there. But um, I do need to get the 2015 one because we only have a few months left in the year, so that's on my to-do list. Um, let's see here. The Now, as I mentioned earlier, I purchased the Flavia inserts, but they did not have a 2014 version. So I actually went on to um, Pinterest, and this is on Facebook. If you guys wanted to go to Planner Peace, it's on Facebook. I had left it in a comment um, in response to someone earlier. But I printed out just a bunch of these monthly, um, month on a page. Um, I printed these off at work, and I wasn't able to print front and back, so... Excuse me, my mouth is starting to hurt. Um, so what I did is I just print out the month, and then I put the subsequent weeks following. So I, I didn't print out a colorful, a color um, portion of this one just because... I would be able to decorate more, um, but yeah, I got this again on a, this Wednesday. So here was the week of the 11th, and then here is this week here, and as you can see, I put a little bit of the masking stickers, and I took notes of when I took my medicine and things like that, and then um, I decided to, since I don't have a front to back calendar, is the week on the left hand side here, so this next week, this coming week, today is Sunday. Um, I have the 24th through the 30th. I have my main task that I want to work on this week, which is my Maid of Honor speech because I'm in my sister's wedding. And then I made this little bookmark. Um, I cut out the holes there so it's easy to take out and put back in um, out of some cardstock that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then on the left-hand side, so on the back of what my last week was, I'm going to keep this as a journal or important things to remember, um, things like that. So that's my planning section. And then I do have, like I said, the Flavia inserts that I'm going to be using for 2015. So I'm really excited to be able to use these. But um, until then, this is going to work out just fine. So going through, I have September here. As you can see, I just marked off my, uh, my sister's wedding, some birthdays. And then I have my sister's wedding schedule here. And then um, just, you know, a couple of things that I filled out that I know are coming up. Um, and then I have October, and that's pretty much it. Um, I only have through the end of the year, so I can put my Flavi inserts in there. And then back here, I have not been utilizing this as much as I did with my personal planner, my A to Z um, tab system. Uh, mostly because it's brand new and I haven't had a chance to really write things down yet and categorize them and file them in the proper place. But I do hope to be using these more. Um, as you can see, this paper right here kind of covers up the ones in the back, but they're just pink two letters per tab. So that is pretty much it. And I just have some important things flagged, like my sister's wedding. I have some things that I have to do and stuff like that. And uh, the back here... I just keep some extra calendar inserts in case I need them for anything. I don't have anything else back here just because I feel like it bulks up the planner a little too much. Um, and then I have this full elasticized pen loop. And usually I have um, this pen right here, which is my favorite pen of all time. I've always used these. These are the Pentel RSVP Fine Pens. Um, and then I also usually have my Sharpie pen, but that one is in the living room because I just got done using it for my masking stickers. So there she is. She closes just fine. Um, I'm really glad I got it. I'm really glad that I tried an A5. I never thought I would like an A5 because it's too big, but it has proven to be extremely useful and so much more handy with the things that I need for every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave any questions that you have in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.